Thunder and the House of Magic. Now this, what do you call this? Delightful. This is a delightful CGI film. There is an instinct I have to compare it with Pixar, but I think that would be a mistake. This movie proves that you don't have to be a grand, cutting-edge production to be special. It tells a fun little story of a stray cat who finds a new family with an old retired magician who surrounds himself with pets and various robotic contraptions that seem to have become sentient. And happily, the film doesn't bother trying to explain it all that much. It just lets it be. Now, this movie doesn't really need tricks to be fun, but it has several fun moments of things being fired directly into the camera. And they let it come right out far beyond what your eyes can process. But it's usually quick, so you're never encouraged to strain your eyes. It sort of happens in your peripheral vision. And even if you don't actually see it, the feeling of it flying out is still there. Um, now, most CGI's movies, they do well with the 3D, but it's so often an afterthought. And this one is a little extra special. Um, it has a good eye for camera angles and virtual lens choices that work well with stereo. And you can tell it knows it's a 3D movie, and there are many shots here that really were designed to be seen in 3D. And they... Um, the, their virtual lens choices adds a natural curvature to many shots that gives it a natural feeling of pushing against the screen. It adds both tension to moments and makes the 3D feel bigger than it often is. Uh, the premise here is something of a reverse Pinocchio. Instead of wanting to be real, the cat seemingly wants to be one of the toys. <laughs> Uh, does that sound like an analogy for internet life? But for the most part, the plot is borrowed from perhaps a dozen other films, but it doesn't take away from any of its charm. There is something universal about an old fading man uh, surrounding himself with pets. Uh, I've certainly known a few pet collectors. Uh, friends and family turn out to be like summer leaves that fall away as winter approaches. Yet the spirit yearns and the mind tries to shut it up with toys. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, I think there's something about... Um, with just uh, people wanting to stick together and find each other and work for each other. That's all very universal. Um, I can't find any connection, but for some reason, uh, it, it makes me think of um, Adam. The name Adam means mud, but Eve meant life. And uh, there was no life until there was someone to share it with. Even God didn't want to be alone. <laughs>